Hi YouTube, this is Safni and welcome to my channel. So this is a comparison video of Samsung Galaxy A6 Plus vs Samsung Galaxy J8. Both are released in 2018 and also the specs are nearly same. I think this video will help you to find out the better one for you. And if you are new to my channel, please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon for more videos. So on the first look, it's difficult to find the model, which one is A6 Plus and J8. Because both are looking exactly the same, this is Samsung Galaxy A6 Plus on the left and Galaxy J8 on the right. So A6 Plus has a 24MB selfie camera and J8 has a 16MB selfie camera. And both have a LED flash for the selfie. And one of the most disappointing thing is there is no LED notification for both devices. I don't know why Samsung is doing this because in 2018 most of the other manufacturers provide LED notification features for their models. So both models have a dual camera setup on the back and a fingerprint sensor. Compared to Galaxy J8, A6 Plus has a better camera quality and Galaxy A6 Plus has an aluminum build while Galaxy J8 has a plastic one. Also A6 Plus feels much premium enhanced. The antenna lines looks cool and both have Snapdragon 450 octa-core processor with 64GB internal and 4GB of RAM. Also both devices support dual SIM with a SD card at the same time. First try for SIM 1 and second try for SIM 2 and SD card. And there is no dedicated big SIM button for both devices and both have micro USB 2.0 port and also have a 3500mAh battery. So comparing these two devices, the specs are almost same. So let's check some missing features of Galaxy J8 when compared to Galaxy A6 Plus. So the first one is the display. Both have Super AMOLED 16 display, but Galaxy J8 has a low resolution display of 720 by 1480 and also a low pixel density of 274 ppi. But in the case of Galaxy A6 Plus, it has a resolution of 1080 by 2220 and a pixel density of 411 ppi. So that's a massive difference in the picture quality. The second one is AOD, always on display. Galaxy J don't have an AOD feature. As you can see, there is no AOD button in the notification panel. I think Samsung will fix this in the later software update because it's a simple thing based on software update. And the third one is auto brightness sensor, the most post part of Galaxy J8. Seriously, Galaxy J8 don't have an auto brightness sensor, so you want to adjust the brightness manually all the day. So the fourth one is the camera. Both devices, Galaxy J8 and A6 Plus, have 16MP rear cam with a depth sensor. Also, it supports full HD video recording. And the Galaxy A6 Plus has a 24MP front-facing camera, while J8 only have a 16MP front-facing camera. But both of the front-facing camera can record full HD videos. So the downside of the Galaxy J8 camera is it's a 16MP front-facing camera for selfie. I think uh, but I think it's not a big deal and one of the interesting thing I noticed is the rear camera of Galaxy A6 Plus is slightly better than Galaxy J8. So the most disappointing part of Galaxy J8 is the missing of auto brightness sensor and the low resolution display. From this comparison Galaxy A6 Plus is better and worth for money because it comes with the aluminum body and a better front cam and a rear cam. Also it has a super AMOLED display with 411 pixel density and it feels more premium enhanced. From my side Galaxy A6 Plus is the winner and if you have any other suggestions please mention in the comment box below. So thanks for watching my video guys. If you are new to my channel please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon for more videos.